Welcome to Soft Review. In this video, I am going to show you how you can uh, integrate Strico uh, with Make.com or MoveSpace, whichever you are using. Uh, I have uh, gone through the new uh, updates. Uh, first, let's look at uh, what are the new updates. Uh, so there is now like a version one. In this, uh, you will also get uh, the word limit uh, when you check for the model details. And uh, they also added like a new feature to upload files, which we can uh, use with other LLM models and chat with that. And the supported files are PDF, log, uh, PPTX, uh, MP3, MP4, HTML, CSV, and JSON. And the maximum uh, file upload size would be like uh, 25. MB really uh, great update that I really wanted and uh, we have now API access uh, with the image generation so it's using Dolly 3 and we can also specify the size that we want uh, supported our square landscape and portrait and uh, we can get a maximum of four output we can send uh, our prompt to multiple LLM set uh, simultaneously so that's really great if you want uh, one uh, want to give one prompt and to receive uh, like uh, response from one from like uh, OpenAI uh, GPT-4 then from Cloud 3.5 then uh, like uh, Google they have a lot of models so uh, you get the idea you can uh, give one prompt and get the output for all the uh, four models separately and use it for your automations and you can also get the YouTube transcript. That's also a neat feature. If you want to like create articles or uh, set up some motivation with the YouTube and you can also give YouTube URL as context uh, so that you can give the LLM models more details of what you want to actually write. This was like a really major update uh, from this Traco team. And now with just one API, we can use all these features in a single place so i have uh, spent a lot of time uh, doing the integration uh, for make and i have also done for both space and i will have it here in uh, on my website you can get it from here if you are interested so i will just show you like uh, how it works uh, so once you have the app all you need is to just uh, come here to make and you can just type in Straco. And I have not left out any models. As you can see, I have all the models here. You can use the file upload. You can get model information. You can get the user information. You can get, do image generation. You can create a complete prompt generation. So first, uh, let me just show you. Let's get the model information. You just need to add your API, uh, which you can get from your Straco account. So that's straightforward. I don't want to show that again here. So once you have that, you just click on uh, run the model. And as you can see, uh, we have the image model that's available. It's showing up here and and uh, the coins and the sizes that it's supported as well. So we have like 26 models uh, here. And you can also, as you can see in the documentation, you also get the word limit. So that's how the model uh, information works. Uh, uh, I am not sure uh, will, uh, that anyone will use this, but I just added in case if you want to have this module. Uh, the other module will be the most frequent one will be the leak, uh, the prompt completion module. Uh, so this is where all the actions happening. Here you can actually uh, select uh, up to four models. I have written that you can uh, use only four models. And for example, if you like uh, the Gemini, uh, Google, uh, so if you want uh, Claude Sonnet 3.5, uh, you can Gemini, OpenAI, and GPT-40, uh, there is GPT-40 Mini. So let's just type in hi and just click on OK and just run it. And let's see the output here. Since only four models are supported, I'm just showing the four models. So as you can see in the completion, you can see you we are getting the response from all the four models here and if you go to the completion choice message see we are getting it from gpt40 then the gpt4 and it's the same with all the other models as well so you get the idea right so uh, you also have the option to display transcript so if you want uh, let me just let's just select forum mini because it's the cheapest and um, in order to display the transcript, uh, you just need to select yes. And uh, let me just find my video. 
so this is a video of mine i am just getting the url of my video i can just paste it here and let's just give some message so that uh, the message cannot be empty so let's just give unscribe and uh, that's enough uh, so we have the, our video url we enabled like uh, show the transcript and let's just click on ok and just run this model as you can see uh, that you have this transcript here and the transcript with the timestamp is there so if you don't want this uh, timestamp all you need to do is like come here and just uh, display a time a transcript as no then just click on ok and just run this again so as you can see that's the uh, transcript uh, without the actual timestamps so you have all these options here so if you want to like get uh, seven key takeaways then you can add like here and just click on run here uh, as you can see uh, using that transcript it gave us just the main three key takeaways so i hope you got the idea and now if you want uh, to uh, actually you use the files right uh, you can uh, as i have shown you before we have like different files supported so uh, in order to use this field uh, we need the url from the other module so uh, let's just um, get the file upload module here let's just keep it here since it supports uh, for this example i will uh, record like an mp3 uh, to test this out whether it can transcribe the file and use it as context so let me just start the record so this is just a test audio and i am here recording uh, to see if it can be transcribed by the api and all the supported files are like pdf docx pptx uh, txt xlxx mp3 mp4 html csv json and the maximum file supported can be 25 mb so <clears throat> this is like a small file uh, that we can use uh, to actually uh, pass it to the ai so what i need to do here is first i need to uh, uh, upload it to the um, dropbox uh, you can also use google drive i am just showing you uh, as an example here so with that um, now let's choose this file if you want to link it here and uh, let's let's pass it like this okay so uh, we have uh, We have the file uh, that we recorded earlier so it gets the file here so it's uploaded to the servers and what we do what we have to do right now is to actually delete this and get this url so it's up uploaded to the amazon aws and we have to get this url and if you want to add multiple urls uh, you can add that here by duplicating this module and you can add as many urls as you want um, at uh, maximum four urls so we have our mv3 here and let's just uh, give the ai instruction to transcribe and let's just run this so let's just click on ok let's just run this and it got the mv3 and hopefully it transcribe this so uh, if you remember it transcribed the audio exactly how i uh, read it and as you can see uh, you can use this to actually transcribe it as well so that's how you use this and now oh, let me remove all this and i'll finally show you how to use the image generation using straco and for this we can choose dali 3 uh, the image generation can be like cat or yeah let's just skip cat and let's choose the square one 
Now I just need one variation. So let's just click on OK. No, sorry. Okay, I'll uh, just run this module. So it's using Dolly 3 to create our vertical image. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the image creation is done and we have like a zip file here. Uh, we can also get the direct URL for the image. So the image will be in PNG format. So if you just click on, you can just save it here. And once it's saved, I'll just uh, preview it here. As you can see, uh, this is our image that we created so uh, that's how it works uh, i have tested everything and everything is working fine and i have also made some complex uh, scenarios with this as you can see so if you want to see the full thing in action you can check this out the whole thing is created using a uh, striker uh, as you can see uh, i have a long chain of instruction this will uh, what it will do is it will go to the internet and find all the relevant news related to ai and it will write an article. Uh, it will have like a takeaway section. It will convert it into an infographics. Uh, then it will have like a chart. And then it will create the uh, image for that particular post. And then uh, using uh, Dolly 3. And it will update everything on WordPress. Uh, then it will also update uh, the title and meta description, uh, which is also custom built. And all of this is done automatically uh, in just one minute or so if you want to see the example you can just uh, visit my website and go to this AI news section i am running this uh, automation to generate uh, all the news uh, that you see here so you can see all these are generated using the uh, automation that i just showed you so uh, if you want to test it out uh, you can go to the shop and uh, get the script for yourself from here uh, i have for boost Waste and for make.com as well so uh, that's it from me if you liked it please do like share and subscribe for more future videos if you actually uh, don't uh, want to use this uh, now you can always uh, can always go to this video where i show you exactly how you can integrate module uh, which you can do it yourself and uh, it's fast and free so you also have that option as well if you want to use Reco. Uh, I'll have the link uh, in the description where you can check out Straco as well as all the modules that I created. I hope uh, you like it. Uh, if you liked it and if you learned something new here, please uh, do like, share and uh, support my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.